So in this video, I'll be describing the solution to binomial fever from Code Shift December Challenge. So after reading a problem, when you look at the constraints, you see that R is actually quite small compared to the other constraints here. So this suggests that maybe we should expand this binomial coefficient into the terms into like the form like this. We know that there are at most R fact there are R factors on the top, and the bottom is R factorial, which is a constant. So this won't affect the solution much. From now on, we'll just ignore this. So we can treat p to the power of i as x in a polynomial. And you can consider the expansion of these factors. And this expansion is useful because when we take the sum of this binomial coefficient, we are also taking the sum of this product, which is the sum of this polynomial. And then in we can split the sum into each of these terms over here. So now the solution has two parts. The first part is to calculate the green summations here individually. And the second part is to find the blue coefficients. So here's part one. And one thing to note is that you can exchange the exponents here. So, and we can substitute p to the power of x with u to, with u. And we find out that we actually, this is actually the sum of a geometric series. And we know that the formula for this is right here. So we just have to evaluate this to find what this is. And note that if u is equal to 1, then the denominator here will become 0, which will give us um, which will give us a division by 0 error. So when u is equal to 1, then we just return that the sum is n plus 1. So now we know how to calculate the green parts. The only part left is to find the blue coefficients. So basically, um, we want to uh, multiply out this polynomial and get the coefficients. And as you, may, as you might already know, one way to do fast polynomial multiplication is with fast Fourier transform, and it runs in O of n log n. And in order to find the entire product here. We're going to use fast Fourier transform along with divide and conquer. So what we do is we divide the product into the left part and the right part. Then we solve individually for them. And once we solve the left part, we'll get a polynomial for the left part. And we'll also get a polynomial for the right part. And once we get these two parts, we can simply use FFT to multiply them and get our answer here. And the time complexity of the solution is shown here. So uh, for when we solve the problem of size n, we break it into its left part and right part and solve them each by itself. And then finally, we use FFT to combine them. And this turns out to be O of n log squared n. Actually, n is up to 10 to the 6 in this problem, and this will get only give you 80 points, which is pretty good, but it could be better. So one problem that I'll mention here to the which will help in the full solution is um, the polynomial translation. So but what it is, is if you're given the coefficients of a polynomial of p of x, then you need to f 
and you need to find the coefficients of the polynomial translated by a value c. And actually, this can be done uh, in n log n time with FFT. And this is actually a bit uh, complicated in math. I'll just include the link to the paper in the description below. So let's say that p of x is equal to the product of these terms. Then we can find we can find a bigger product by using p of x and the translation of p of x. Once we have these two, then we can use FFT to multiply them together to get the bigger product. So this suggests that we can solve it like binary exp exponentiation. So over here, when we have for this big product, we first solve it for solve it for the small part. Then we can translate it, get it to become this, and then we multiply it with FFT. So if r is equal to zero, then we just return, th this is the trivial case, and we just return one. Otherwise, we need, to use, um, we need to divide our product into two parts. The, and each part is of size s, where s is the floor of r divided by two. Now we solve it for s, and then we multiply the left multiply the left part and the right part here to find the, to find the answer um, for the current r. However, if r is odd, then like in binary exponentiation, we also need to multiply by an additional factor. Lastly, we just return our answer. And if we Analyze the time complexity of the solution. This part takes t of n over 2. It's a subproblem of size n over 2. And this part, we have a polynomial translation, which, as I said before, can be done with FFT and takes n log n time. And then there's also a multiplication, which takes n log n time. So this part is n log n time. The last part can be done in linear time. So if we add these all together, we get that um, we get this equation over here, and when we solve it, we find that this algorithm runs in n log n time, and this is enough to get a hundred points.